Hi everyone, it's about 5.30, 5.40 on Wednesday, and this is my closing commentary. Uh, it was kind of an interesting day. Um, everything in the Dow got dragged along with uh, Boeing and uh, UNH and uh, Nike, which reported last night. Um, but I'm going to kind of cut to the chase here a little. Um, and show you what is seriously disturbing me. Uh, this is a 10-day hourly chart of the S&P, and while it looks very constructive, I told you that I wanted to see uh, some more uh, horizontal trading, and so that's exactly what we've gotten. We've gotten this horizontal trading, and it is impressive. Here's the problem. When we drill down and we get away from the overall 10-day look and go to, I don't know, four days, which gives you, you know, a nice uptrend and everything that, you know, still looks pretty decent. Here's what I want to point out. From last night, when the market closed, uh, let's see, we went from... 24.86 down to 23.90 right here up to 2500 down to last night 23.90 again that's 100 points right here a rally of 170 points overnight and into the morning and then another decline of 110 points so basically from last night's close or yesterday afternoon's close at four o'clock the s p moved 100 170 and 110 that's almost 400 s p points um as far as i'm concerned that is not a particularly good sign. We had the same kind of situation in the gold where it reversed three or four times during the day. Um, I actually want to buy the gold, uh, and I mentioned that in my gold update uh, this afternoon, but it too has gotten very, very erratic. So besides what the implied volatil volatility is, the distance that these things are moving in the very short term is kind of disturbing to me. So today, because of the Boeing, we had uh, the Dow up 2.4%. Boeing was up 24% during the day. And uh, NASDAQ was actually down on the day. The S&P was up 28. So, uh, you know, we had 1% uh, move up in the S&P, 2.5% in the Dow, again, because of the Boeing and UNH and UTX. Um, but late this afternoon, the Dow went from up about 1,400 to up about 500, because as normally would be the case, um, Senator Sanders threatened to hold up the uh, coronavirus bill because he wants restrictions on the money going to corporations, as did little Miss AOC, who also warned that she may oppose the unanimous consent re resolution, which would also slow down uh, financial relief. All in all, this is not the way a market bottoms. Um, the incredible moves intraday do nothing more than show you just how erratic this market is and how undecided people are in it. This is totally news driven. And if you think that the news is getting better, you're mistaken. It is not. The New York situation is just short of absurd. They're taking the biggest convention center in the city, the Javits Center, 
on the west side and turning it into a 1,000 or 1,200 bed facility for non-virus patients in order to keep them separated and from getting the virus on top of whatever else is ailing them. Um, 